That's what secular music is. The God, the spirit that inspired that song becomes the spirit that you're worshiping when you're singing along to that song. So when you're listening to secular music, whatever spirit inspired that song is the, is the false God that you're worshiping when you're singing along to that song. This is the truth. An uncomfortable truth at that, but this is the truth nevertheless. That secular music is idolatry because music itself is used as an instrument of worship. But just because God is removed from it does not mean that nobody is being worshipped. There's no middle ground. Either you're worshipping God or you're engaging in idolatry. Remember, I told you there are two religions. The worship of the true God and the worship of everything and anything else. And music is used to worship the true God. But music can be used to worship anything and everything else. It can be used to worship demons. It can be used to worship sex. It can be used to worship women. It can be used to worship men. It can be used to worship things. It can be used to be worship anything. You see that now. And so we're talking about the entertainment industry used, used as a tool to usher in idolatry in the nation. Remember, the Babylonian system's agenda is for people to worship idols. And they use music and use music, remove God as the object of worship, and then insert anything else. And that thing you're singing to or the spirit that inspired that song becomes the spirit that you're worshiping when you